What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here. We are back with another reaction of One Punch Man episode 7 th through 12 is what I'll be doing um, in this reaction. Um, six episodes to finish off the first season, then I'm going to jump into the the second season, um, do those two episodes so I'll be able to catch up um, to what's going on right now in the series. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So let's um, jump into these reactions, man. I don't want to time wasting. You know what's going on already. Um, you know, we just learned certain things about the um, the how the hero association works with the, the, the classes and the ranks and all of that good stuff. Um, the fight between Genos and Saitama was pretty dope. The animation, I mean, it's Madhouse. It is Madhouse, so I don't expect nothing less of them. It's just like, I watched one anime that they've done so far, and it impressed me, so I don't expect anything less of this, because this was done by Madhouse also. So, um, I also heard that they did not do Season 2. So, hey, I don't know who did it, but hopefully it's just as good i don't know um i don't know yet because i haven't really checked out anything because i didn't want to be spoiled before i get there so i didn't really check out anything it's just that people are telling me already that's just that um that it's not madhouse that did season two of one punch man so i will see you guys for the review remember link is down in the description let's go check out the reaction then come back here for the review i highly appreciate it looking forward to you guys comments leave a like on this video remember link is down in the description go check out the reaction then come back for the review thank you guys so much for listening i will see you guys for the review All right, so just finished watching episode 7 through 12 of One Punch Man season 1. It was incredible. It was incredible. I can see why a lot of people say that this brought anime to the to the mainstream, even though in in my humble opinion, I believe that anime was already mainstream in 2015. I would more believe that anime was already mainstream by then. It maybe it was maybe you don't have or maybe you guys have a different idea of what mainstream is because I heard that even celebrities was talking about One Punch Man and stuff like that. So maybe that's why people are saying, oh, it became main anime became mainstream, got a lot more people watching anime after One Punch Man drops was super popular. But I decided to give it a second chance because you guys wanted to see the reaction to it. And I have to say after watching all 12 episodes, it's deserving of all the praise that it got because the animation is on point. Wish every anime was like this. Smooth animation, voice acting was good, the jokes were good. You know what I'm saying? You wish every anime is like this, but unfortunately, no, you don't get this kind of quality for every single anime you watch. So I can understand why people say this brought anime to the mainstream the earlier episodes like in the in the reaction like seven eight it was uh, mostly just setting up they they went up against the the deep sea king woman Ryder got his ass kicked genos came in was battling but he had to sacrifice himself to save the girl from the acid and that completely melted off all his freaking iron and shit like everything just got melted so he was in bad condition he couldn't really help himself anymore he just got thrown around by the dc because he was keeping up with him even when he lost his arm one of his arm you know he still was keeping up with deep sea kings pretty dope then you know saitama came in um the moomin rider got his moment trying to beat up sea king get his ass whooped and then Saitama came in with the one punch. The whole spaceship incident um, with, uh, what do they call him? Lord Boros. Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, the way how Saitama went back into the ship. Like, we can break this stuff down 
all day long. But you're not going to convince me that squats, push up and jumping jacks and, and 5K runs a day for three years gave Saitama the, the kind of power that he has and leaping, leaping power that he has. And no, you're not going to convince me of that. This guy is beyond beyond. He got kicked to the moon and just jump right back like it was nothing. You know what I mean? So don't get me wrong. Boris was a, he was a good opponent for him. But at, at the end of the day, he had, he stood no chance. He said it himself. He stood no chance against this guy. So I can't, I can't sign off on, 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 you know, on anything other than just some godly powers that this guy has that he doesn't know about. It has to be. You know, so that battle was great. It was a good, good example of how a anime anime fight should happen. You get what I'm saying? Nice, decent. It took up what? I would say around 10, 15 minutes of the episode. It's pretty decent length for for a fight and didn't drag. You know what I'm saying? It started in 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 episode 11 and ended halfway through episode 12 so pretty decent and madhouse did an incredible job with the animation in that fight like it was eye popping it was you want to see every single move that happens and every time boros tried to attack saitama was blocking it i think he got one hit on saitama before he went to that to that um what do you call it the meteoric meteoric burst or whatever he called it before he went to his second mode when they were still fighting inside the ship he got one hit on Saitama um that hit him back he was going through walls and all these walls and that was pretty cool um to see him get a hit on Saitama um then they went outside and they were doing their thing man and it was just beautifully animated I can't even stop talking about it um some stories are developing um, still want to know more about my mask. What's his deal? You know what I'm saying? Like, I still want to know what his purpose is in the show. Like, I understand what he's doing right now, as in him staying in the A class, the top of the A class to kind of evaluate the people that goes into S class. I get that. Um, this other story where Drive Knight warned Genos about Metal Knight. That's another developing story. I still want to see more of Tornado. I like her powers, but she's she does act like a little brat. She does. She doesn't act mature at all. Bang, Silver Fang, great character. Love him. I love old dudes that do Kung Fu stuff. So, there's that. So, this was definitely a um, great watch. Um, I can see why it it's so popular. Thank you guys for inter for 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 um for staying with me, giving me a convincing me to take a second look at this. Um, so I enjoyed myself thoroughly, man, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it with me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button, man, because I'm about to start season two. Um, about to start season two. Want to know more about this show? Um, thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, of course. Tell me what was it like the first time you guys watched these 12 episodes. Um, and also, remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for Season 2. Peace.